Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I want to go kind of back in time uh, to 2007 um, to see what the uh, routers uh, look like back then and the kind of technology that was around. So as you can see here I managed to get this off uh, eBay. Um, so this is a, a still sealed uh, from back in 2007 so we're talking 16 years ago now uh, of technology uh, from Asus. So uh, I got this and I thought it'd be interesting to do a video just to see what it was like back then because uh, some of you probably weren't even, uh, might not have been born <laughs> back then. So as you can see here, this did uh, actually get like from Taiwan. So it's a lot of awards and everything else. And you can see here, it's got still uh, advertising Windows Vista and you had a special feature around the print sharing. So you can see around here, this is the router here and it's one antenna uh, that was removable. Um, as you can see here, the features, so the model is the WL520GU, as you can see here, it's 125M broad range EZ uh, wireless uh, router, or router if you're in the UK. Uh, so you can see here, as we said, it's got a print server built in for free, so that was uh, quite advanced for back then. As you can see here, they've got their own customization here, so where you can press and click to create a Wi-Fi protected safety network. As we know now, these are not so <laughs> safety. Um, and then you've got all these other kind of things of the quality of service, so the bandwidth on demand, so it prioritizes your internet bandwidth. So don't forget back then, people were using um, much slower internet connections. So there was no nothing as, as home gigabit or even uh, fiber or anything back then. And then you also, like he said, you've got a USB port actually in the back. So it's probably a USB 2.0. Um, and you can share your printer with everyone. So you can't go wrong with the uh, features and everything else of this one here. So uh, as you can see, we'll just quickly have a look on the uh, back um, on here. So it, perhaps if I uh, just uh, take off the, the wrapping, you might be able to see it a bit clearer. So we'll quickly do that now. Okay, so I've taken the plastic wrapping off, so perhaps you can then uh, see a bit better without the reflection. So as we said here, it goes through all the different kind of features that it has around the uh, setup. So you can see there you've got the uh, WPS pin um, like we know it now, but back then was uh, the EZ config, uh, part of the EZ um, uh, setup. Um, then we've got the print sharing. So you can see here it's got a USB uh, port on the back um, where you can plug in your printer and then you can share your printer with multiple computers. Um, you've got here the uh, Asus uh, like quality of service. So I think we have it like now, but also bandwidth on demand. So you can see here, even back then with gaming, um, internet, and then uh, voice over IP. So you can see here, um, you can then uh, actually prioritize things uh, on your network. So there's quite advanced features as well for back then. And then you can see here some of the, uh, where it says there's some of the features. So it's got the WDS. And then the broad range, that's a 300% uh, coverage. So this is a kind of an upgrade. Uh, and then you've got there the 125 high speed mode. So as we know, uh, 125 uh, megabytes now is not um, <laughs> not too fast. But for back then, that was, was pretty good. So you can see here, as it said there, it supports the wireless distribution system. Uh, and that can extend your wireless network coverage up to 1,000 meters. And you can bridge two of these together to uh, basically between two buildings or houses uh, for uh, um, basically co housing complexes and things like that. And you've got here again where it's uh, quoting it can reach a wireless coverage of 850 meters in open space. Um, and then it's basically also just telling you some where, where you, as we know, that the interference from other radio devices, walls and things like that. So this, this is actually on the uh, wireless G uh, and it's basically uh, the 2.4 gigahertz band we can see here. So we can see here some of the old addresses and everything else and the uh, standards on the actual uh, router. And if we just go around to the, the front here, uh, we can see here that the uh, network standard, so we've got the network standards here. So we've got B, G, um, and then a few of the very other ones that we've got there and it even supports uh, IP uh, version four and six, that's how long version six has been going on. We've got the broad range here feature, the 120, 25 uh, high speed mode uh, for transfers, uh, and that basically comparing it to, to wireless G. Um, you've got the operating system. So again, it's the 
uh, to between the 2.4 and the 2.5 and then you've got the data rates here the G um, and then you've got the uh, B as well so this one goes all the way up to 54 as uh, on the G here and up to 11 on B you've got the optional channels as well so this is international from Taiwan so you've got the uh, let channel 11 for North America 14 for Japan and 13 for Europe your Ethernet ports, you've got one uh, LAN and uh, four RG45. So this was only a 10 or 100 base T uh, Ethernet. Uh, so there's no gigabit back then. And again, as we said, it's got the uh, detachable antenna. It's got one USB 2.0. So you can see after 16 years, some of the routers that we still see for sale today still come with a USB 2.0 uh, port. Then you've got the special uh, button here as well that's got there. So it's got some LEDs to tell you if your your internet connection, your WAN and your LAN connections, and we've got our security so supports all the way up to WPA2, and it has a few of the other standards as well. And I think it might even go back to WEP, so that's the, <laughs> so as we know how unsecure that. It does have a firewall and also VPN, so this is like really good uh, for back then. We're talking 16 years ago now. Um, and you can see here all the other features uh, it goes through and utilities and the power supply back then it actually goes through and it also gives you some temperature and humidity where they've done testing and everything else so yeah so uh, uh, this is a uh, let's have a quick look now we we'll undo the box so as we can see here it comes with the uh, power adapter um, and then the router itself um, so we'll just put that to one side uh, we'll get all that out and everything else and then we'll put to that to one side even though the box is quite heavy by itself so as we said we've got all these bits and pieces here so you've got the Asus warranty so it gives you the serial numbers as well um, and you can fill out the information there and then uh, actually uh, register your Asus product. I don't know if the Asus probably still allowed you to register it. It's so old. As we can see here, the antenna. Well, this one is actually really, actually quite strong. Um, as we go, and you can see the Asus branding on there as well. That's uh, actually quite nice. Attention to detail. So we do have an Ethernet cable they give to you. So that's good. So like nowadays, I presume uh, this is only going to be, uh, I think, category uh, Cat Five. A category 5 uh, so it's not too bad and then it's a patch cable as well so uh, cat 5 uh, so that's still pretty good going they're giving you the uh, ethernet back then and then of course the uh, power adapter that we've got here so it's sort of boxed up here and so uh, this is from Europe so this is not got a UK plug but a European plug on it um, so you can see here it's got the two pin and everything else in the model uh, as you can see here this was the uh, uh, output is uh, 5 volts 2 amps and you can see the serial numbers there and there so that even in, even back then it didn't use a lot of power um, to actually run the uh, router so as you can see compared to like the GTA X 11,000 or some of the other large routers now this is this is like the size of my hand <laughs> so it's, it's uh, quite small and very light as well so as we said you've got ventilation here um, so you can see here it's got the little vents again it's made of a uh, quite uh, thin plastic but back then uh, that was uh, the norm and as we can see here we've got the actual uh, router model we've got some LEDs here as you said for the power um, and then for your wireless network the LAN uh, ports and it's quite good to see as well on the back you've got actually got uh, some uh, rubber feet and also you've got some holes there to mount it on the wall if you need be um, as we got here as well about the uh, wireless router and information so on the side we've just got some nice uh, little bit of styling <laughs> to make it nice and on the back we've got the antenna so again as we said it's basically you can uh, always upgrade the antenna if you ever needed to on these old ones then you have the uh, button here this one is for the EZ setup and then you've got this one for a restore so that's like the reset and then you've got your Ethernet and WAN ports as well. And then your USB uh, 2.0 port and your barrel jack for the uh, power as well. 
So as you can see here, uh, things have changed dramatically over time from 125 um, megabytes per second um, and everything else. And then how small these routers uh, used to be. Uh, you didn't really need such uh, humongous things now, but now you see them with eight antennas and um, some of them now are just take up a huge kind of tabletop. Um, and before they were very light and plastic and you could put it anywhere kind of thing. And of course now we can do a lot more. But one thing it is uh, it's strange to see is still most uh, routers we see is still got uh, at least probably one or two USB 2.0 ports. And it's got the same from like 16 years ago. So I wanted to do next is just a quick look, a bit of fun just to plug it in and see what the actual um, speed is I can get when connecting to it. And then just have the look at the actual web interface just for your information and then uh, we'll uh, end the video after that. Okay, so we'll just move on to that now. So now we've just logged into the actual uh, router itself or router um, in the UK. Um, so as you can see here, this is the main page that comes up um, on screen uh, when you actually first load up to set it up. So it does have a function, like we said, the button on there for the uh, EZ um, basically uh, setup. And you can see here you've got the uh, quick setup, the wireless G, um, and then the security, some IP sharing, internet firewall, and status. And you can see here it's best viewed on in Explorer 5.5. So this is uh, 16 years ago. Um, it did support, as usual, uh, only limited languages back then. Uh, so we can see here if we just go into wireless, we can see here what you could do back then. So you do did have the options for the uh, channel, and of course you had uh, only uh, wireless um, Wi-Fi uh, 802.11b and 802.11g as well. So you can see here. Um, then you can see the actual uh, encryption you've got here. Um, so it goes up to WPA2 that we still use to this day. Um, the encryption only has TKIP, so as we know, that's not as secure as AES that we uh, we normally use uh, nowadays. And then again, there's the very unsecure WEP uh, that we should never use in uh, 2023 at all. Um, so you can see here what the actual actions are. You did have a, a feature for uh, accessing and setting up a bridge. You've got access control here for security. Um, you can set up your own uh, radius uh, setting as well for the server. You have some advanced ones here as well. So you enable afterburner. So <laughs> I don't know what that. Enabling afterburner will improve the throughput. Um, so it sounds uh, very good. Uh, it's a good name having afterburner um, and everything else here. So you can see here it did have a lot of configuration where you could go into. And then again for your uh, WAN, so if your internet and then you can set up your internet connection here. Uh, you have your DHCP server for your IP addresses and IP assignments. Uh, then you have the miscellaneous where you can set up your all different settings here. Then you have the uh, NAT settings as well. So as you can see here for port triggering and things, then you have your virtual server uh, setting here and then you have your uh, DMZ um, that we have now. Internet firewall, as you can see here, you did have a firewall back then, so it was good. And even uh, denial of service protection. So you did have quite a lot of uh, features that we still see today um, with uh, Mac filtering and URL filtering and things like that. Um, but of course, perhaps a bit more advanced now and things like that. And as we said about the quality of service here for the bandwidth management, so you could still see here. And don't forget, in most of the time, even with their boost mode, uh, of 125 this was normally only a 54 um, megabytes per second uh, wireless uh, G connection so we got the basic configurations for that and then you've got some system setups um, so you can see here you can choose your operational for your gateway your router and access point you got your firmware upgrade um, I wonder if there's an actual upgrade for it um, and then you got your settings there and you've got your status and logs where you can actually access as well and then log out. So as, as basic as it was, uh, you can uh, still see a resemblance from even from 16 years ago. Um, and in today, in some of the cheaper uh, routers, um, you can see here their user interface is probably the same as 16 years ago. Uh, except for Asus, where it's, it's moved on a lot. Um, 
so on everything else. Uh, so we'll just have a quick look to see what our, uh, the speed is. So we'll just do a quick speed test now and then uh, we'll come back and then uh, finish the video. So after some time and uh, setting up and changing some settings, I managed to get it actually connected to the internet. So as you can see here, I'm using an automatic IP address. Um, so this is just the internal test network that I've got. So as, as before in my speed test, we'll have a quick look just just for uh, old time's sake for a, see what the speeds are on a 16 year old uh, router. Um, so this is my internal network speed test. So this is connected to my uh, NAS or my network uh, attached storage. So this is just an open speed test. So this is internal. So this is from, uh, we can see what the theoretical uh, speeds are. So this is the highest it will achieve because it's only just connecting into our internal network. So you can see here I'm getting 7, uh, <laughs> 16. So it's not too bad for back then. Again, it's uh, 16 years ago. Um, so this is the uh, high speed and this is uh, using the actual connection straight to it. Well, you can see here it does a uh, boost up. Um, we did have a bit there for around 50, um, but averaging around 15 or 16. So no uh, 4K streaming for you or, uh, or multiple devices connected. Uh, back in those days and you can see here so this is the download so download and upload is around 16 um, so it is as expected and then finally I'll just quickly just for a bit of fun uh, go to speedtest.net and then see what the uh, outside uh, speed test is using this uh, wireless uh, router um, I'll just uh, quickly uh, do not allow and it's getting around as we said uh, it's the same as the internal uh, so the bottleneck uh, really is a uh, because my internet is a uh, one uh, gig uh, up and down um, so uh, it's got plenty of bandwidth there and as you can see here it's getting roughly the same as my other internal test um, and this is to our local um, Vodafone uh, test server for speedtest.net so overall as you can see here <laughs> it's just for a bit of fun just to see what 16 years ago and how we've progressed with speed features and uh, generally through the internet and then through our Wi-Fi routers as uh, this uh, router from Asus is uh, 16 years old. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you a little bit of interesting. Uh, have a look to see what it was like um, and uh, hope you have a great day. And as usual, if you do have any comments, please uh, leave them in the comment section and I'll try my best uh, to get back to you. Thanks very much.